here. We checked into our hotel and we're about to head out for our first evening of activities. I have a good friend here who actually lives in New York as well, but she happens to be with her family in Tokyo right now, so I'm meeting up with her. <laughs> James a puffer jacket at Uniqlo in Shinjuku. This place is so packed, like this entire area. Probably like one of the most crowded places I've ever been, but it is a vibe. Everyone is out here having a good time. bright and early morning. We're exploring Ginza today and they're gonna head to a coffee tasting experience. A really cool coffee shop where they have like a huge selection of beans and kind of like brew the coffee based off of your personal tastes. And then after that, we go check out a street food or seafood market and then we're gonna spend the rest of the day kind of just shopping around the area. Yeah, it should be a fun day. But that's okay. We're waiting in line for fish cakes. Oh my gosh. So this is what they look like. This is a variety skewer with like corn on the top. And then to be honest, I don't know what the bottom two are. 
No, it's fish. It kind of tastes like chicken, but it's fish. I like this one. Mmm, seaweed? I like corn. It's like an So Japan is not for having like beautiful, perfect, really expensive fruit. We got a $4 strawberry that's like pale pink, kind of whitey in color. It comes in a little jacket of its own. I'm curious to see if it just tastes like a regular strawberry or if it tastes special. Oh, so sweet. Oh, it's a little bit of urchin, but it's a little bit of urchin. I'll give you that one. I feel like this is what I'm talking about. It's a little bit of seafood. I have no hands. Can you please feed me a grape? I have no hands. Oh, no. Ah! Thank you. Well, it's a really good grape. Thank you. Hey you guys, it was way too crowded at the market, so we have given up and now we're going shopping. Shabu Shabu place in Ginza. The view here is really nice. Today is our last full day in Tokyo, but we're gonna make the most of today. It's a pretty packed itinerary, so we are gearing up with some blue bottle, <laughs> which I know we can get back home in New York, but it was just right next to our hotel. We're actually staying right next to like a train station and there's a blue bottle literally right at the entrance. Today we are heading over to a temple and then gonna head to some cafes and heading over to the Shinjuku and Shibuya areas for the afternoon and evening for some shopping. I definitely want to try and get like a lot of hoodies and pants, everything and coats while I'm here because Asian clothes just fit my frame so much better. I'm like not considered that short in Japan, <laughs> which is fantastic. I'm then gonna probably hang out with my parents in the evening and kind of just enjoy our last, our last night here. I'm going to chug the rest of this. Oh, it's 
just got off at our subway stop. This area is like so quaint and all these little houses and tiny alleyways are like so cute and peaceful. So windy, some nice wind in the hair action going on. There are like a million stairs at this exit. I'm so tired. a cafe called Shirokige Cream Puff Factory for the cutest Totoro Cream Puffs. This one is raspberry and then that little leaf guy over there is custard flavored. There is like an actual cafe on the second floor but there's so many people. Like, all of these people are waiting to eat in the cafe. Um, we're on a bit of a tight schedule today, so we just decided to get everything to go, and I'm really excited. I love cream puffs. I feel bad eating this. It's so cute. Say goodbye to Jero. Sorry. <laughs> Yum. Mm, mm. The cream is really fresh. Oh my gosh, this is leaking. Mm, mm, this custard is really good. I think my favorite dessert I've had in Japan. <laughs> That was delightful. And I want something savory, so we are heading to a really famous gyoza place that I saw on like some YouTube like business insider video once or something as part of a docu-series. Oh, I think it was Eater. I'm gonna head there for a quick bite of lunch and then start shopping. I've been waiting for around 20 minutes. And we are finally at the front of the line. It's honestly not that bad considering since we got here, the line is now like 35 people long. It's like 30 times as long as we're waiting Yeah, we got here right before the lunch rush, very thankfully. <laughs>
mall we just went to happens to be right next to Shibuya Crossing, which is, I think, the busiest like crosswalk section, intersection, junction in the world. Up to 3,000 people cross it per crossing. And so we're gonna go check it out. Everywhere in Tokyo has massive crowds, but I guess this is where it gets even more crowded. Our restaurant is actually in the opposite direction. We just wanted to cross this crosswalk, so now we're crossing back. shop in Shibuya and they do like really beautiful parfaits and this is the Uji Matcha one. I think this is like, what do you call this? Like a sweet rice cracker with mochi and red bean and ice cream and matcha. parents off back to the hotel and now James and I are going to go do something that he has been wanting to do this whole time which is go to a claw machine room or like claw machine store where they have like a bunch of claw machines um, just to try our luck. Yes. So apparently they're all rigged. But there's ways, uh, there was, there's ways to play around them being rigged. After a certain number of failed attempts the uh, employee will come over and help you win. I guess we'll hopefully at least win a couple of cute prizes if the employee helps me. I have very little hope that I can do it by myself. We spotted Sneaky Kirby, who is real cute, so let's see if James can Successfully. Someone just won a prize here, so the chances that us we get this, like, it just got reset. What? Really? I'm seeing these everywhere in Japan. Somebody tell me what they are. My hypothesis is either an oyster or an oyster mushroom. I'm not sure though. They're really cute, whatever they are, but I don't, I can't tell. We found another cutie. struggling so much the trick was to lay it flat and then the claw doesn't let go from the top. Yay! Guess what James won! Let's go! <laughs> 